Very common expression we hear sometimes, honeymoon cystitis. Is such a thing as honeymoon cystitis? Yes, uh, it, it, it's a common... We're assuming uh, they didn't have any sex before they... It's, it's very common these days than the old days. <laughs> because right now, I mean before, it was unheard of to have sex before getting married. Right now, uh, by the time you get married, you probably had sex for many years, and then basically uh, it's very unusual to get the but honeymoon. But if that person went on a honeymoon, never had sex before, is such a thing as honeymoon cystitis? Yes, there's honeymoon cystitis. What is it? Honeymoon cystitis is a cystitis. It's an acute cystitis. It's a bacterial cystitis. Very well, uncomfortable. We know cyst what's cystitis? Cystitis, it's an irritation of the bladder, and it gives you several symptoms that are very annoying. One, you're going to urinate very often. And you sit there on the toilet and you're going to feel like you're urinating in drips and drabs. You get a severe pain and a stinging sensation when you're urinating and the pain gets worse after you finish urinating. So you feel very frightened to get off the toilet because you figure that the urine is still coming out but nothing is coming out. Your bladder is empty. But since the bladder is angry red, it's like you looking at the throat that is bright red what, what throat is it? What is due it to happen? a strep. It, it happens happen? usually to bacteria. So it's an infection. It's an infection due to bacteria. And the most of the time it's an E. coli bacteria, which is usually a bacteria that comes from the rectum. And from the rectum, every time a woman that moves their bowels will get colonization from the rectal bacteria, which is an E. coli, into the entroitus, which is the labia, and up to the area of the clitoris and up to the area of the hymen. That usually goes into the vagina, and when you have sex, Sex will usually will act as a plunger and will get those bacteria and push them up into the urethra and cause the infection in the bladder. And as we know, bacteria usually multiplies every 20 minutes. So you get this certain amount of bacteria. It's going to take a little while. It may take a day or two, but you're going to develop a tremendous amount of bacteria, usually over 100,000 colonies, and they usually are the ones that are going to be responsible for the infection. So you, so you need the antibiotics to get over? You need antibiotics to get over. Drink plenty of fluids? Drink plenty of fluids. Warm sits baths. If you're away and you have no doctor or anything whatsoever, one of the things you can do is take some cranberry juice, which is going to make you urine acid. So which it does will, work? It works because it's going to cut down the amount of bacterial proliferation. Bacteria will proliferate in alkaline urine, but it does not like acidity. So anything that is acid, bacteria is not going to grow. And the other thing, if you have nothing else to do, just sit in a warm tub. Usually every hotel has a tub, and you sit in the tub, that's going to relax your muscle, and you're going to make you feel much better. So in other words, it happens. It happens. Not so often today, because not everybody's first time is the honeymoon. Is that true? That's true.